spotlight got me hot. So hot. I just want to make money on Snapchat. <laughs> Golly. Welcome to Music Blueprint. My name is Gina Fontanella, one of the co-founders of Music Blueprint, and we teach you how to make money as a musician. One of the biggest trends right now is Snapchat Spotlight. If you have not heard of it, you're behind. But no worries, because you're not that behind, and it's still super beneficial to get onto it now. I did a part one to this video. If you don't know anything about Snapchat Spotlight, please go check out that video. I'll link it uh, above. And yeah, let's just get into it. I wanna correct some things in my first video, so why don't we get into that and then we'll get into some other things that I found out. First and foremost, Snapchat only pays per video. So let's say you submit your video to Spotlight and it gets like 100,000 views, okay? That would put you somewhere in, in the vicinity of getting money. Typically, that the average video that actually makes money is like 100,000. That's kind of the bar. Some people I've heard have, have made no money when their video gets 140,000, but I think the reason that is, from my research, is that it is about how many views a video gets within 24 hours. So let's say your video within the first 24 hours gets 20,000 views, but then in the next 24 hours, it only gets 50,000 views and so on and so forth, but it never really hits 100,000 views within 24 hours. So with Snapchat, it is all about the 24 hour spectrum. <laughs> So, unfortunately, let's say your video gets freaking 250,000 views, but it's spread out over seven days. You better hope that at some point on one of those days, you hit over 100,000 views on one day. So, that kind of sucks. It's kind of annoying. But what's great is, is that your video just got a ton of exposure. And on Spotlight, you have to create a public profile. So, that means... People are probably following you, depending on your content. I mean, if your content is just like funny memes and stuff, I, I, personally, I've, I have found that people don't typically follow like funny memes people unless they're the solo creator of it. You know what I'm saying? Like they have their own profile and there has a, a theme going on with that creator. Um, if you're just posting random funny things, great. Post the random funny things and try to get money from it. But I, I haven't found that people build like a successful platform from that, but that's not to say you shouldn't do it. Uh, everybody breaks the mold and everybody surprises me. So who, who knows? But all that to be said, it is about a 24 hour period. Um, and you have to create a public profile. So even if your video gets a ton of views, it's about the 24 hour period, unfortunately. <laughs> right now, collectively, like I'm, I get videos that get consistently like 500, 200 views like every single time. And I think there's a, a, a bunch of reasons for that. From what people have told me, hashtags don't really matter, but I have found that if I don't post hashtags, uh, my video will only get like 50 views. But if I do post a ton of hashtags, and I'm talking about like, Snapchat allows you to do 100 hashtags in one post. So I try to do as many as I can think of, and typically when I do that, my videos will at least get 500. So if you're trying to actually build a public profile and actually like build up some stamina and stuff, uh, or build a following, I should say, you know, getting 500 views a video, that's not bad. It'll slowly, slowly build. But the problem with that is you're not gonna get any money. So it just depends what your focus is. Uh, my focus is a little bit of both. Like I just, I'm not the biggest Snapchat person. Like I just, in terms of connecting with an app, I've never really connected with the app that way. Even when it originally came out, like back, I don't want to date myself, but back when I was in college, when Snapchat first came out, I wasn't even into it then. So, and everybody was into it then. It was like, oh, we have to send Snapchats, blah, 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 blah. So all that to be said, I'm trying to like, get my money and like dip out. But I'm also, if I'm going to be able to build a following somewhere, that's always great on any platform. If you have a centralized following, you can do 
you could do some damage and do some things with it. So I think that's smart. The third thing that I learned is how do you know when you're going to get your money? So first thing, and why I said the third thing is because the hashtag thing was number two, just so we know. But the third thing, back to number three. So what I've heard is, is that when your video gets, you know, X amount of views, you're in the pool of, of making money, um, Snapchat will end up sending you a message saying, hey, your video's done really well. Uh, we, you know, update these certain things so that you can get your money, right? Now, that doesn't happen right away. From what I've heard, it takes a couple weeks for Snapchat to send a message out to people. So just keep in mind, you like your video goes viral, you're not gonna get a message the next day. Like you might get a message, I think they do it twice a month. So depending on where your video landed, you could be like two weeks out or maybe they wait even longer, but for sure they'll get back to you within a month. So just be aware of that. Don't be super stressed out about it. Um, it's coming. If your video actually did what it was supposed to do, it's coming. And if it actually did it within the 24 hour period, your money is going to be in the bank for sure. The fourth thing I want to bring up, and this happened to me for some reason, I could not create a public profile and to get money on Snapchat, you have to create a public profile typically. And this happened to everybody that I knew except me when they open Snapchat up, it immediately asks the question, Hey, would you like to create a public profile? It never asked me that question. And I'm talking about like, I'm not talking about big influencers. They were asked that question. I mean, literally people who had no following on Snapchat, my boyfriend literally has like no following on Snapchat. And the moment he opened up the app, it off offered him the option of creating a public profile. And I was posting all these videos to spotlight, but I didn't have a public profile, which somebody may be able to correct me. But from my understanding, you can't make any money unless you have a public profile. So I was trying everything. I mean, I did like deep dives into VPN numbers and deep dives into like some dude from India trying to explain why I don't have a public profile and all this stuff. It was stupid. So I finally just said, screw this. I went to Snapchat. I, I typed in, uh, I went to their contact page and just said, hey, I can't figure out why... I can't make a public profile, like what's going on here? And about like two days or so went by. They sent me a, like an email saying, hey, we got your email. But after two days, I hadn't heard anything. So I sent another email. Um, and then about three, I want to say two or three days after that, all of a sudden it just appeared. I had a public profile. I could create a public profile and that was it. So I don't know the reasoning as to why I couldn't create a public profile, but all I can say is email Snapchat, go to their contact page, email them your issue, and maybe your Snapchat fairy godmother will all of a sudden make your wish come true and you'll be able to create a, a public profile. I'm telling you, everything I found on the internet did not work. Every random deep dive video, I mean, I was like multiple hours. I'm not talking about like one, two, three hours. I was like, 10, 15 hours in trying to figure out why this was happening because I was like, why am I posting these videos and trying to make money if I can't, I'm not gonna make money anyways because I don't have a public profile. That doesn't make any sense. So I'm like trying all these different things. Nothing worked. I finally just emailed Snapchat and within four days, I finally had a public profile. So that's what I would suggest for that. That's also something else that I learned that I know a few people that it's happened to and I've suggested them doing that and it's worked. So Try it out, maybe it'll work for you. Another thing I learned about Snapchat that I don't think I mentioned in the first video, I knew it, but I don't think I mentioned it, is that they're very strict on what content is put up on Spotlight. So it goes through a whole submission process and some videos get submitted and some don't. I will say I've had one video that didn't pass submission the first time and then I, re I tried to repost it again and then it did pass submission. So sometimes you just gotta keep trying, but they are wanting certain videos. For instance, they will not allow you to submit a TikTok video that has the watermark of TikTok. Now there are ways around it. One way I found around it is putting like a, an emoji or something over the watermark. So one time I posted a video and it had 
the watermark of TikTok in the top uh, left corner and the bottom right corner. And it was Monday. So I took one of those big like Monday label bold things. I even just typed it one time and put it right over the watermark on on the top and the bottom. And that worked. It got submitted and it worked. But, you know, the video didn't do really well because people are looking at it like, what the heck? Why is this this big label that says Monday on it? That's kind of weird. But what I did just find out recently is that you can get rid of the watermark with certain apps and videos and stuff. Just type into Google how to get rid of the TikTok watermark and a bunch of apps will show up and then you can put your videos through that and it'll remove it. So there are options, especially if I know a lot of my friends, they use the TikTok app because the TikTok has so many great filters and all these different things. So they use that app to record their videos in. Well, if you have all this content, hundreds of videos, but they all have the watermark of TikTok, it's just not, it, it won't do well on Spotlight. Like, e even if you put, like, a heart over it or one, I put, like, a St. Patrick's Day thing because it was St. Patrick's Day. I put that over it. And, yeah, it got submitted, but it just didn't do very well. So you got to be smart about it. And I think what, I think the smartest way to do it is just use an app to remove the watermark. Even if you have to pay 99 cents for an app, who gives a crap? Because if that video is really good and it does well and you make like $20,000, what's 99 cents in the scheme of that? Like that's literally pennies, literally pennies in this grand scheme of like making thousands of dollars. So get the app, get whatever app. I don't, I don't know what the best one is. Um, I, I just pick random ones and I'm kind of testing them out. So hopefully maybe some people will comment below on what the best apps are to use to get rid of the watermark. But I haven't really figured that out yet. I've just been testing out different ones and hopefully once I figure out, I'll put it in the comments below like which one I found to be the best. But the final point that I will say is Snapchat does not care where you get the video. And a part of me doesn't want to share this because I'm an artist and if somebody took my art or my video and made a bajillion dollars off of it and I didn't make it because I didn't post the video or they post, we posted the same video, but theirs popped off and mine didn't. I'd be so mad, but they don't care where the video comes from. And a lot of the people that I know that are doing really well on Snapchat and making a ton of money. And I'm talking about, cause they're posting those cute puppy videos and they're posting the funny memes and old vines and all these different things. The people doing that are ripping them off of YouTube, <laughs> which is kind of crazy. So there is no rules. Don't bring a knife to a gunfight. <laughs> you gotta, if you're trying to get that money and get yours, there's the option. I personally don't want to do that. But a part of me is like, my videos are really good. And well, some of them are really good. And I feel like, dang, they like really deserve to like get something, you know? But the videos that are popping off are all of the best of the best videos from TikTok, the best of the best videos from YouTube, and people are just ripping them. So take that with a grain of salt. I don't know if Snapchat's going to crack down on that, but I do know that my friends that have made a ton of money, it's not even their videos. They're ripping them from someone else, which is so not right. But Snapchat's not, Snapchat's just not blocking them. So... All that to be said, create your own videos. Don't try to rip them from someone else. I mean, literally, some people are just putting Mentos in Coke bottles and people are watching them. So it's not that difficult to create a video to go viral on Spotlight. There's only 175,000, about 175,000 submissions a day. So it's not that many submissions. And I know that sounds like a lot, but it's not. You think about TikTok, they have millions and millions I don't even know what it is for Instagram and Facebook, but it is way up there. So you can still get in and you can still be successful. I know some people are just like, this is fake. This is not real. It is real. I mean, you can find so many videos of people just making from $1,000 all the way up to like $50,000. Um, it's definitely real. It's definitely something happening right now. And it's definitely something that you should hop on. So if you have videos, or even if you don't have videos, start making videos and start getting them out there and put them on Spotlight. Um, I'm also gonna do a video about YouTube's version of TikTok, which is shorts. Um, but I don't have enough uh, info about that yet, so I'm definitely gonna do a video, but 
Not yet. The one that I feel like I have not the most information on, but a, I'm getting there is Spotlight. And Spotlight is just killing the game in terms of paying their creators. I mean, TikTok, they were supposed to pay, what did they have? $220 million to pay creators. And it's like only going to like the top 100 creators. It's just not, it's not really paying anybody out. The most people are getting like pennies. So but with Spot, Spotlight, it's in that beginning stage where it doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter if you have clout or not. People are posting on it and their videos are going viral on Spotlight and they're getting money. So now's your chance. All right, guys, please like and subscribe. If you found this video interesting at all, please share it. And uh, I do these podcasts slash videos every Tuesday. So come on back on Tuesday and put, put the notifications on or, you know, whatever. And uh, I'll see you next week. Peace.